Veterans Voices is sponsored by these local businesses. And on this Veterans Day, people across the nation aren't just honoring America's veterans. They're acknowledging the sobering fact that very few World War II veterans are still alive today. This Veterans Voices tells us about a member of the greatest generation who lives in Johnson City and can play a mean harmonica. <laughs> Gene Hodges is still making music at the age of 99 and still remembering what happened when he was just 18 years old, fresh out of high school when the news arrived that America was at war. Wound up down at the recruiting station joining, and some of us joined the Navy, some joined the Army and various and thing, but I, I was one of the ones that joined the Navy. And that was the day after Pearl Harbor. I thought if I don't get in that Navy and start doing something, somebody's going to win that war, so i got to stop that. Hodges was assigned to the USS Yorktown and the war in the Pacific. In June 1942, the war-weary aircraft carrier roared toward Midway Island for a battle that would change the course of history. And then we broke the code of the Japanese at the time, and that gave us an inroad into where they were located and what they were up to and various things. And, and so the war began early on that morning of June the 4th. Hodges was on duty in the boiler room, unable to watch the surprise attack on the Japanese Navy. That's where I was in the Battle of Midway. I didn't see any of the action out above uh, of what was going on above. But we had a guy up there who was giving us a play-by-play -play of what's happening, and he was using some very bad language along with it. But all of a sudden, two torpedoes hit us at the same time, and boy, it shook Christmas. The blast entrapped him in metal. Then the call to abandon ship. Somehow Hodges broke free with a dislocated arm and jumped for his life. I'm in the Pacific Ocean now, and for the next several hours, I was just trying to go with the flow. I was falling people who were going out. Rescued at sea, he spent the rest of the war healing from his wounds while continuing to serve. Gene Hodges then came home, raised a family, and spent decades as a minister and chaplain. This past summer, he and one of his sons returned for the 80th anniversary of the Battle of Midway. A thank you to the remaining few who helped turn the tide of the war. I am very proud to be a World War II veteran and and I would say that at that time, our country was indeed the greatest country in the world. What a hero. Uh, the USS Yorktown, on which Gene Hodges served, is now at the bottom of the Pacific. There was a new USS Yorktown commissioned in 1943, and it is now on display at Patriots Point in Charleston, South Carolina. You can nominate a veteran who served our country and share their story for our ongoing Veterans Voices series. Just log on to WGHL.com, click on the Community tab, and we're back on this Veterans Day in a moment.